law of attraction coach has their own personal approach. This one happens to be mine. This is my signature 360 approach that I teach to all my clients that I speak about in my videos, but today we are giving it its own airtime. We're giving it its own video so we can speak exactly on my personal process, the process I give to my clients, and the way that I have found to be the most successful and accurate that I've discovered in the past 10 years or so. That's what we're discussing in this episode of Roxy Talks. Stay tuned. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I am Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can discuss your specific issues, you can sign up at roxytalks.com. We've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more. That's all at my website, roxytalks.com. And of course that link is in the description below. Now my personal 360 approach, what does this mean? This is my way of saying that we manifest in all areas of our lives with all of our capacities. We use all of our awareness to put ourselves into the reality where we want to be mentally so that we can experience it physically in our world easier, stronger, better, faster, in the most simple way possible, the most harmonious way possible, however the universe best sees fit to bring it to us. That's the way we want to experience it because the universe understands much more than we do in the universe, whatever it is out there that we're calling it, God, whatever, its ways are infinite and unpredictable and surprising and delightful and much more expansive than our own personal powers, which even though it is a lot, the universe out there, whatever it is that's bringing us these things in our world is obviously an incredible power. And the more we can understand it, the more we can tap into how to reach it in its language, the more our lives will line up and the more things will fall into place the exact way that we want them to. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. So when we are looking at the 360 approach, we want to make sure that all of our thoughts are on board. We want to make sure that we are thinking as the version of ourselves that already has what we want, that's already achieved what we want to achieve, that's already got the money that we want, that's already got the person that we want, that already feels the way about themselves that we want to feel. We're cleaning up all areas of our life. What does this mean? This means that on any given subject, I will link my video above about the 10 or so umbrella subjects that the human experience seems to fall under. There's only really a handful of things that humans can actually experience, right? When you really break it down to it, love, career, money, self-love, service to others, safety and security, adventure, passion, mental health, physical health, things like this. When you really break it down, that's kind of all there really is to experience for human beings. Everything pretty much falls into these categories. So what we can do is clean up our feelings about each one of these categories. We're going to start changing the story about relationships. Everybody in my life treats me with respect. They love to be around me. They like my ideas. They think I'm really cool. They feel something inside of them come alive when they're around me. I'm the sexiest person in the room. Whatever it is that you want to feel, we want to make sure that if we are thinking about people, if we're thinking about coworkers, strangers, friends, family members, romantic partners, whatever, I need to think about them only in a way that works for me because I'm manifesting in every moment. I'm always, 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 always manifesting. I'll link that video above as well. So the manifesting never shuts off. So that part's out of my hands. But what I can do is step in in the control moment, in the focus moment, in the awareness moment, in the definition of what it is I'm seeing or experiencing in my life. So if anybody treats me any sort of way. It is my job to make sure that my mind stays in the mind frame that everybody respects me and everything is always working out best case scenario. No matter what anybody does or says to me, they can't truly harm me or affect me or change the world I'm living in unless I decide to allow my thoughts to go there. Unless I decide to entertain about how I'm not good enough or that people can't trust me or at the end of the day, I'm the only one that's really got my back. If that's how I truly feel about people, that's what I'm going to continue to see. So I'm no longer going to feel that way about people. I'm not going to care what they do. 
because they do not have control over me. I am in control. I'm always in control and I control what I do with my thoughts and my feelings and my ideas and my overall communication to the universe. So what I'm going to communicate no matter what happens in my 3D world is, yeah, everything's fine here. People treat me with respect. They like to be around me. They only have nice things to say about me. They're very supportive about the choices I make. If it's not that story, I don't have time for it because my life is unfolding in every single moment and I'm always manifesting. So if I'm not thinking about people in that way, I'm getting them in another way that's probably a way I don't like. So no matter the subject, money, money always comes, it's always here, it flows to me all the time, every single day, tons of it, thousands of dollars every single day, it's amazing. I'm rich forever, as Ralph Smart says. I'm abundant, I am wealthy, it is always here, it's always flowing to me, I love spending money because that just makes more room for more money to come in. So when we talk about this 360 approach, what this means is that from every angle, Money, love, feelings about myself, career, personal safety and satisfaction, does not matter what it is, I'm gonna only think thoughts about it that work for where I'm going. I'm only gonna think thoughts about it that I wouldn't mind if they manifested right in this very moment because they just might. I don't really have control over that, remember? I am the what and the now, not the when or the how. I'll link that video above as well. When I take a 360 approach with manifesting anything in my life, what this means is that no matter the subject, I have specific thoughts, feelings, affirmations at the ready so that I don't have to question where I'm going next. No matter what happens to me, I am staying in the mind frame of the reality I'm creating. I'm manifesting in every single area of my life at one time because my life is more than just one thing. My life is more than just one goal. My life is all kinds of stuff times infinity and maybe I want this right now but in five minutes I might want that. Either way, it doesn't matter because I choose. I decide what I get and I decide what I focus on and I get what I focus on simply by focusing on it. It sounds weird, but that's how it works. Wherever your mind is at, that's where your manifestation is. However you truly feel about it any given subject. Do your bosses like you? Do you get jobs easily? Do people break up with you after three months? Do people respect you? Do people support you? Do you like yourself? Do you feel awkward in situations? This list goes on and on. But the point is, how you truly feel about any given subject is the way it's going to go down in your world. So we change the way we feel about things. I will no longer let my 3D world Anything that happens to me, a thought, an idea, a feeling, an experience, nothing. Change the way I think about things in my mind. I'm in control there. That's where my power as a human creator lies. And the cool thing about it is that this thing just replicates. There's no judgment. I don't have to be good enough or anything like that to get what I want. I simply have to focus on it and not undo my manifestation by doubting myself, worrying, fearing that I'm not going to get it, noticing the lack, questioning where it's at, wondering when it's going to get here. This again comes back to the 360 idea. We put our manifestational powers in every single area of our life. No matter what thought pops up in our mind, we're thinking about it in a way that works for us because any of the these thoughts could be manifesting in any single moment. So if that's the case, then I got the game beat, right? Because I'm only going to think about things in a way that works for me. All right, fine. Go ahead and manifest my thoughts. I dare you. Please do. I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see the way that the universe brings it about because I can only imagine so many ways, but I'm really excited to see what the universe does when there's no resistance. When I just say, hey, here's something I like bring it to me. Thanks. In the meantime, let me go over here because if I'm working on love, then I've got my career over here to distract me. I got friendships over here. I got self-esteem to work on. I got a parking space to get. I have other things in my life that require my attention. So I'm going to clean up the story about love. I'm going to make sure that I feel amazing about it. If I have a specific person, if there's somebody that I do love, if I'm in a relationship with somebody that I want to behave in a certain way, if there's a person at my work, if there's a family member who's not treating me the way I want them to behave, what I will do is simply tell a new story. I'm going to change all of the language surrounding this person or this situation, whether it's money, a person, a car, a job, anything. It's really all the same at the end of the day. The way you feel about it truly in your heart, the way you feel about you, your ability to be successful at whatever it is that we're talking about, all of these things are woven into the fabric of your current reality, your personality, if you really want to get down to it. Again, no matter the subject, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna clean up money. I'm gonna clean up career. Everybody loves to be around me. They love to work with me. I'm their favorite employee. They love my ideas. They're happy when I walk in the room. They're glad I'm in the meeting because I have the ideas that help the company. Okay, what's next? Self-esteem? 
great because I love myself. Everything is working out for me. The universe is constantly listening to me and it's giving me exactly what I want. Everything is working out best case scenario at all times. Okay, what else? Manifested this house I'm sitting in right now. That's why the sets have changed because we have newness coming. Life is getting better every single day. It's growing. It's building. It's billowing. It's increasing. It's growing in size. It's getting bigger and better and stronger and faster every single day. And I cannot wait to see what unfolds next. That's how I truly feel about everything. Okay. And that's why all of a sudden everything in my life has worked out. This 360 approach has worked. I'm not saying it's the end all be all. I don't think I'm the only person with the answers. In fact, I know I'm not. But what I can say is that after nearly a decade of practicing and studying this practice, okay, it was not until I adopted this process that everything in my life fell together. Things I have been working on for years, all falling in line in a matter of four months. You have been here with me. You have seen this channel grow from zero on October 4th when I started to over 20,000 now, four months later. We are doing it, we are growing, it is happening and it is because of this process, I promise you, because I've been doing it for a long time and it wasn't happening until now. So what is my daily process? What's my mental diet? Well, I'll tell you one thing is I script every single night. I bookend my days. I make sure that I go to sleep feeling amazing and I wake up feeling amazing. I script about whatever the hell I want that day, however I'm feeling, what I went through, things I liked, things I didn't like, past, present, future, exactly the way I'd like to experience them written as they're happening now. I am successful. I am amazing. My life is incredible. Everything is working out for me. Everything is working out best case scenario. Things continue to unfold for me in miraculous ways. I am so excited to continue to see the way this business unfolds. My business is booming. I'm helping millions of people. I'm standing on an empire. People love me. They hang off my every word. They enjoy watching my videos. They learn so much from me. They gain an understanding that they've never grasped before. All of this stuff I put into my scripting every single night and it is my reality because I refuse to entertain anything else. And that's another big part of my mental diet. I am constantly on top of my thoughts. I am paying attention. I am at the helm. I am in control. I am listening. I am not ignoring my feelings. I am not ignoring my thoughts. I am not allowing myself to spiral without intervening. Now, this is not to say that I don't have bad days or feel sad or depressed or anxious or worried or fearful or doubtful or insecure. I have insecurities too, but I do not let them settle. Even if they pop up at the end of the day, uh, 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 you are not in charge. You are not in control, little insecurity. Sorry, get the F out of here, bye, okay? I am in control. My world, my life, my ideas, what I say goes and the universe has no choice but to respond. And I like that. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm in control. I like that fact. It's empowering. It's not scary. It is empowering. Because if I can just simply pay attention to where my thoughts are at and not let myself sink in to that worried, fearful, doubtful, that old feeling that keeps us where we're at, if you can simply stop yourself, stop, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Like waking yourself from a nap every time you fall asleep. Think of it like that. Every time you fall, uh-uh, uh-uh. You're pulling an all-nighter and you cannot afford to doze off. So you're on top of it. You're waking yourself up. You're making sure that you are focused on what it is that you're doing. So that's how I want you to treat your waking life. We do not let these thoughts settle. I don't care what they are. If they're insecurities, if they're doubts, if they're fears, their worries, or whatever, mm -mm -mm, kick them to the curb. Can't have them in here. Nope, can't have them. Nope, can't have them. Nope, can't have them. I can't have it. Not worth it because those things continue to manifest. That's what manifests in your world is those things that you don't kick out. Those things that you allow yourself to spiral on. When you just give in to the, ugh, I'm a piece of shit, woe is me, life is hard feelings, guess what you get more of. So for me, even if I feel that way, I don't care. My feelings do not run me. I am not a feeling. I am more than that. I am more than a thought. I'm more than all of it combined. So I don't care how I'm feeling. That does not affect what I do up here, okay? It's that simple. I care more about where I'm going than how I'm feeling right now. That's the truth. I care more about my end goal or reaching what I want to experience than soaking up anything that happens in the now because it's just not worth it. It's just another stepping stone on my journey to where I'm going because it is unfolding no matter what and I truly believe that and I know it. It has to unfold. It has to be leading me there. Anything that falls apart is something falling together. It has to be because I'm not offering any other option. It just is that way. Everything is working out for me no matter what. I don't have to feel any certain way to get my manifestations and I know that. 
I am aware. So 360 approach, we put our manifestational powers into every area of our life. We keep each thing separate. Okay, so we don't want to attach our feelings about money to bills because money and bills, even money and bills being paid are not the same thing, okay? Money, think of money as a person. It's little daddy Warbucks. He's really generous. He'll give you the shirt off his back, but he's also really sensitive and he hears everything you say. So treat him with respect, treat him with kindness. Do not demand from him. Don't question him. Don't ask him where he's at because he always shows up for you and he will always be there for you no matter what, as long as you treat him kindly, okay? He, Mr. Monopoly Man, he is not a bill being paid. That's an event. That's a happening. That's an unfolding right? So to recap, 360 means we are putting our manifestational power in every single area of our life. We are not limiting ourselves to just manifesting one thing. We are not worried that we can't manifest more than one thing at one time because right now I'm literally holding the walls in place around me. I think I can manage a person liking me in maybe a parking space. Yeah. And I'll take a couple million dollars too. Okay. Because no matter what, I'm always doing this. It's always responding to me, whether I like it or not, whether I know it or not, whether I'm present or not, or whether I'm using it to my favor or not, it's still working. It's still happening. So Therefore, I am going to step in. I'm going to take control where I can. And where I take control is in the conception, the perception, the idea, the definition of what's happening in my world, what's going on in my mind, where I'm headed. That's what manifests for me. So every area of my life, I feel amazing about. I've said this before. If you can feel fine or better about every subject, if fine is your bottom rung, fine is the worst you feel, you're going to have a good life, okay? Because we can have a whole range of emotions above fine, but we don't need to communicate that anything in our life is anything lower than fine. If it's not fine or better, I'm not focusing on it. I'm not giving it my attention because I don't want it to manifest. I don't want these things in my life, so I'm not going to give them airtime. I'm only going to think about things in a way that works for me. If it doesn't work for me, if I fear it, if I worry, if I don't like it, if I wouldn't like it showing up in my world, I'm not going to let it show up in my mind. Simple as that. And if I catch it in there, I'm kicking it out. I'm a little old lady on a porch and I got all these raccoons. Shoo, 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 off my porch. Get off my porch. Shoo, 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 off my porch. You don't get to be up here. Sorry. You're not invited. I'm in control. These things don't run me. I run them. I run them. I decide how I feel about anything in the world. No matter what my 3D reality says, we're not reacting. We're ignoring the 3D world. We're not gossiping. We're not taking the time to reaffirm our 3D reality. Just to be honest, I don't care. You're not getting me to reaffirm it if I don't want to. I'm only affirming what I want is happening. Everything is working out best case scenario. I'm cleaning up every subject in my mind because I don't want it to manifest in a way that doesn't work for me. So if I catch myself entertaining something in a way that's not good, mm -mm, what do I say? Ah, no. Actually, it's like this. Everything is fine. I'm making myself think the thoughts that I want. I'm taking over the airwaves. So any song that I don't like, I'm simply not going to play it on my station anymore. I'm going to put something else in place that I do like. Whether the volume is up or down on my radio station, I'm good to go because I like every single song that I'm playing in rotation. I like every single song on that playlist, so I don't care which one you play. I'm not going to put a song in my playlist that I don't like, so I'm not going to put a thought in my mind that I don't want to experience in the world. Simple as that. So I want you to comment down below, my reality is under my control. My reality is under my control. And this is a reminder to you that no matter what, if you take this approach, if you clean up your thoughts about every subject in your life and you feel fine or better, nothing can ruffle your feathers. And should they get a little bit of ruffles, you're going to smooth them out right away. And you're going to smooth them out again. And you're going to smooth them out again. And I don't care if I have to smooth it all day long. I'm not going to walk around with ruffled feathers. I'm smoothing. I'm smoothing and I'm smoothing. And I will continue to smooth until my feathers are no longer ruffled. And then I'm going to go back to focusing on things that I want again and only entertaining things that work for me. I'm on top of it. It is a constant practice. It is a discipline. I am dedicated to myself. We don't take days off. This is more important than anything that you got going on right now. Guaranteed. Because this is what dictates whatever it is that's going on with you. This is what's calling it to you. So get a hold of this. Go 360 with your approach and your life will fall into place in amazing ways. I tell you from personal experience and if you'd like to download the actual 30 day challenge that I gave to myself to help me change my mind frame and it's the thing that kind of set me on this path that I'm on, you can download my 30 days of alignment challenge. It's completely free. It is in the description below. You can also join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. It's a great community for like-minded people who are helping each other manage 
manifest. That link is in the description below as well. And if you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can discuss exactly how you can implement your 360 approach, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at my website, roxytalks.com. We've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more. That's all at my website, roxytalks.com. And of course, that link is in the description below. I'm also now on TikTok and Twitter. You can join me there as well as Facebook and Instagram. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday at noon-ish PST for Q&A. And I've got brand new videos out every Tuesday through Friday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.